Well, that concludes our tour of the ranch. Dropped off the fifth of buyers. They're headed back to Austin. Oh, and before we go inside, we saw six whitetail does today. Two scimitar oryx off the uh, airstrip over here. Uh, one trophy all dad and a female running over the ridge in the uh, south part of the ranch. We saw a fox. We saw, um, hmm, oh, longhorns, of course. We got plenty of longhorns over here at the water trough on the east side. And uh, no illegal immigrant activity. Um, so that's a plus. So you get a special treat today. I'm here with Chris Cryer, who lives in East Texas. You are, I would call you a professional hunter, and you raise exotic animals. Yes, sir. And you've been coming to Rio Diablo Ranch since uh, the current owner purchased it and you've hunted quite a bit of uh, awesome animals out here. Tell me what's different about this ranch in regards to the number of exotics, um, you know, how well they're bred and all of those things. Well, it's a big piece of property, number one. So it's, it's not like a, a typical high fence, smaller acreage. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of property, a lot of, uh, a lot of room for them to roam, a lot of vegetation for them to eat, a lot of habitat. The water down here has um, been incredible over the past couple of years. We've had more rainfall this year than we've had in probably 10 or 15 years. So yeah. a lot of vegetation. Um, there's a lot of protein in the ground around here, uh, not just rock and cactus, but there's a uh, wahia, samosa, uh, a lot of the native vegetation is really high in protein. It doesn't a lot much, but yeah. it's really good for the wildlife. Uh, but there's axis. Um, you have a lot of axis uh, native to India, Pakistan, here. Uh, Fallow, black buck antelope, uh, all dead, big ben ibex, a few big ben ibex I've seen out here too. Uh, Scimitar warts is another, another uh, exotic uh, Super, Saw a couple more of those tough. today. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's a it's a it's a it's a and your native whitetails, ton of those. And, and native, bird hunting. And native whitetail and bird hunting, dove hunting. Yeah. You have blue quail. You have uh, a few uh, uh, bobwhite quail here too. And so it's just a it's just a really spectacular place. It's uh, the atmosphere is it, just so open. And, yeah, and you and, and you free you, and, uh, and you and you travel here from East Texas where you got a lot of pine trees and all that. I do. And so what's the difference of a hunt when you're hunting deer out there versus out here? I think it's a change of scenery. Uh, you know, over there you can't see uh, past, uh, you know, 100 feet. Uh, over here you can see 100 miles. Yeah. Uh, and, and just the, the view at night. I mean, the stars you got here on this runway and you look at the stars, I mean, and you look straight ahead and see stars. I mean, and there's just no air pollution here. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a nice place, uh, and I've been coming here a long time. <laughs> All right, folks, Chris Cryer, uh, you heard it from the expert why this is such a special place. So if you want more information on this property, please give me a shout, and I may just bring you out here and show you what it's all about. So uh, God bless you all, and uh, if you've got any information on this property, just give me a call directly. Follow me on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, please make a comment on this video if you got one. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, let's go hunt. Let's go.